Oh. Get a good night's sleep before he went. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think kids that age get their six to eight to ten hours of sleep in. Mm -hmm. uh, my teenager probably gets 12 and she absolutely needs it. She can conk out wherever she is. But new report out today talking about the impact that only having six hours of sleep has on your body. And I'm thinking if I have six, I feel pretty good about myself. That's a night of luxury. Not anymore. Not oh, anymore, great. according to this. Okay, so it impacts your emotional well-being, um, your anxiety levels, your skin looks different. Those who sleep for only six hours a night are four times more likely to get a cold. Wow. Because your body is more susceptible. There is a huge connection between sleep and your health. With inadequate repair time, your body wears out. You are more likely to wake up feeling worn out and exhausted. When you sleep, your brains are detoxifying. So when you don't get that, you might have brain fog in the morning, memory loss. It can even lead to Alzheimer's disease. So emotionally, your cortisol, that stress hormone, goes up 37% if That's you only get six hours of sleep. Lot. Are we talking about just one night here, or are we talking this about this is duration of... One night, this is wow. what your body does to your health. So now, what should we be getting? Long-term impact. Long-term, 45% uh, increase in cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, even anxiety disorders. Wow. So Jay and I were chatting earlier because Jay said six hours... Is, is a luxury? Like yeah. a, a lot of sleep for him. Mm -hmm. So seven, at least seven to eight hours. Like if you can get those eight hours in a night and how do you do it? Create a sleep sanctuary, remove things from your room that are keeping you up. If that means your phone and the television, you gotta get them out of there. Lavender, have an evening shower or bath 45 minutes before you sleep, that just calms you down. This person says she does belly breathing. Oh, I like that before she goes to before bed. Before she goes to bed. Just kind of relax her whole just body. Just relax your body. Do any of you have a ritual like that, or do you just kind of conk out when you can and everything's done and hope for the best? I take I'm exhausted bath. by the end of the night. Yeah. So I pretty much conk out. I have to do a bath every night I before like taking bed. a bath. And I, it's not long, but I make sure it's really warm and I get in there and I feel like it kind of resets. I did hear recently that water resets all your chakras in your body. And I'd never heard that before. And I, it made a lot of sense to me why I feel like I need to get in the water yeah, there's every night and it, it does, it soothes me. I feel so much better. Yeah. So I fall asleep easily, it's staying asleep. That's mm. the tough part. It's 3 a.m., it's 4 a.m. Really, is that typically when That's you'll open your eyes? Yeah. So it's getting back to sleep at that point. That's tougher. But blue light might be the reason. So get rid of that. I room. would like to stay asleep, but <laughs> a little baby wakes me up about that time. So if you ever want to send me a text or you call me, I'm people. up. Yeah, we're hanging out. We're hanging out at 3 a.m. <laughs> and going back to the bath, Brie, I recently, someone who came on the show said magnesium really helps too. This author takes that every night. And puts it. Uh, I have a magnesium soak, and you put it in your bath. Oh, that's so a good So your tip. feet and all, your entire body soaks I it all. Oh, that. so this author takes a supplement. You put it in the tub. Mm -hmm. Let me try one of those. I yeah. say do both. both, right? Yeah. Try it all. I like that.